So the first time that you start working with that, the fabric is going to start a process of discovery. But what does this discovery mean and how it works, I'm going to show you in a second. So basically what we have is a bunch of switches. Let's say that these are two of the spines and I'm going to say this is S1 and this is S2 and I have multiple leaf switches and let's say only two of them are going to be drawn here because in our fabric of course the sample fabric that we have we don't have more than this so this is going to be L1 and this is going to be L2 and what we have is the connections now the connections are like this we have connections from leaf to switches one from this to spine one one from this to spine two let me draw this in a better way and from this to this and to this uh, but we don't have any connection from leaf to leaf so this is going to shut down this two leaves so if we have this this is not going to work and we don't have a connection from spine to spine so basically the connections are going to be from leaf to spine from spine to leaf and that's all now this is going to guarantee multiple things the first thing that it guarantees is this first we have just two hops to get to the destination from any point in our network so let's say that this is one of the servers which is connected to my leaf. So let's say this is server 1, okay? So if server 1 wants to get to server 2, doesn't matter whether they are virtual or physical, what we need to do is to go from server 1 to leaf 1, from leaf 1 to S1, and then to leaf 2 and to S2. Or I can just go another way. I can go to leaf 1, s2 and l2 and then to s2 which is going to be my server 2 of course here so you see that anything that we do it doesn't really matter how many spines and how many leaves we have here we only need two hops to get to the destination this is the first thing the second thing we have no loop in our network so one reason is we have an underlay topology here this underlay topology is created using is to is so is to is is the protocol which we are going to use for uh, the fabric underlay setup as a matter of fact we do not do any configuration under this because everything is going to happen automatically for us when fabric discovery is going to be done all the uh, devices are going to receive an ip address let's say that there could be a loopback interface in here that loopback interface is going to receive an IP address and we just use that IP address to connect to them if we want to do any of course connection uh, any configuration or anything and this is going to be the protocol that does everything automatically for us so loop free uh, is based on the protocol that we have here and also you see that we just get to any destination with just two hops we cannot go from one leaf to another spine and then to another leaf and then go to another spine there's just one scenario in which we can bounce back from a leaf to a spine and that is when we migrate a virtual machine most of the time or a physical machine sometimes so this is what is going to happen now what is the process of discovery so let me remove some of the things that I have here to show you the process of discovery. So let's say that I have an APIC here and the APIC is going to typically connect to a leaf. So I can have multiple APICs, but let's say that I have only one right now because this is what we are doing right now. And this APIC is connected to leaf one. So a protocol which is LLDP is going to be the protocol which is used for the discovery you can say that CDP is another protocol but CDP is disabled by default but LLDP is exactly like CDP but this is enabled LLDP is the standard version of CDP let's say so this means that we can understand what devices are connected to us so the first time you go and connect to APIC and these uh, fabric devices start what is going to happen is leaf one is going to be uh, you know discovered by apic one 
So a pick one is going to discover leaf one, and then from leaf one, we have connections to S2 and S1 here. It doesn't really matter which one first is going to be discovered, but they are going to be discovered. Let's say S1 and then S2 are going to be discovered because both of them are connected to leaves, leaf one. And if we had more spines, then you could see, let's say we can have up to four spines here then they would be discovered by leaf one. So APIC is going to understand the spines. And after that, the spines are connected to other leaves, which means that L2 is going to be discovered later. And I need to do something because what I did here is out of... Um, so this is going to be the process that we are going to have, right? L1, then the spines, and from the spines, the leaves are going to be discovered. And if we have an APIC, most of the time we connect it to two leaves. Sometimes you can see that two of the leaves are discovered at the first time, but most of the time this is what we have. If we have multiple APICs, again, all APICs are going to be synced later, but any one of them can start the configuration, uh, the discovery process on here. So let's do the discovery process uh, in our simulated environment. And that is exactly like what you see in a real environment. So you can go to Fabric. And from Fabric, you go to Inventory. So in Inventory, you have a Fabric membership here. So if you just click on that, the process of discovery is going to start. For now, it says there is nothing. But after some time, a leaf is going to appear right here. So if you do not see any registered note, you just go to notes pending registration. And I click on that and you can see that the first device is here. Uh, this is a leaf. You can just click on that, double click on that. This page is going to open for you and you can change some stuff here. For example, the serial number, I can change the serial number if I want to, or I can just do some other stuff here. And from these tabs, of course, you can see some more information about them, but that is going to be okay. And then I'm going to close this. Now, how can you register this? Uh, actually, registering is going to happen from right clicking on this and clicking on register, or you can select it and then go to here and you can find register here. Both of them are going to do the same thing. So I click on register and then it says which pod this belongs to. This is pod one. I already have one pod here. Uh, the node ID is going to be, let's say, 101. I'm going to just assign this node ID to this. The node name, I'm going to give it L101. And the role is leaf. We already know that. And the rack name, I can just assign a rack name to that, but let's say that I don't have any special right name. I'm not going to select anything. So most of the time, you should know that leaves are top of rack switches. And uh, you can put them there. Most of the time, fixes are not going to act as leaf. Only top of rack switches that are 9300 uh, series, 9500 series, these are going to act as a spine. I'm, I'm going to, of course, uh, give you full information about the type of switches that can act as a spine, but for now, let's say that I'm not going to assign a rack name. Later, I'm going to do everything. So I'm going to click on register. So registration is going to take some time. In the end, you can see that this status is going to change from unknown to register. And after that, you can see more uh, switches discovered here. They are going to appear in this page uh, because this is the pending registration page. So let's wait for that. It might take something like a 30 seconds or minutes. And the first one is registered. So if I just go to registered note, I can see that. And let's do something. I'm going to double click on that. And from here, I have serial number. Uh, here you, you can see a serial number, which is a fake serial number. But in reality, you should see a real serial number. And you can just go to the rack and check the serial number with the serial number that is uh, pinned to the switch itself. 
and then put a mark on that and say this one has been named L101 so that later when you just go to the rack and check the switch you know which switch you are dealing with and it says this is a 9369px series which we are going to of course check it on the internet later the role is leaf and the IP address which is assigned to this automatically is this one and the status is, it says this is discovered, but as a matter of fact, it was discovered fully. So let's go to nodes pending registration. Now, two of the spines have been discovered. Uh, you can see here, it says spine, spine. Why two? Because in my topology, which I have in this uh, simulator, I have two leaves and two spines. And the first leaf that is discovered is connected to the two spines here. Now you can do the same thing about these uh, spines. So I'm going to go and right click on that and say register. The node ID for the spines, I'm going to say 201. This is spine, I don't know which one it is, but let's say that this is 202 because this says tip 1104, it doesn't matter which one. We can just change it later. And then I'm going to say this is S202. The troll is a spine. I'm going to click on register. This one I'm going to register and say this is 201. The node name is S201. And then I'm going to click on register. Now again, it is going to take some time. The registration is going to be done. And after that, if we just go back to this node pending registration tab, or you just click on refresh, uh, the next leaf is going to be discovered or all the leaves of course which are not discovered but in my case i've had only two leaves so the last leaf is going to be discovered here so uh, you can see that this is under again uh, registered notes you can just check the type of the spine this is uh, c9508 of course which means that it has eight line cards and 9500 series going back to here this is the last uh, leaf that is not discovered and I'm going to right click that is discovered and not registered and I'm going to do this so the node ID is going to be 102 and that is going to be L102 and I'm going to click on register so the process of registration is done now now that the process of registration is done we can have a topology here and let's wait for this to be done and from there, of course, I'm going to show you the topology that we have here. So it might take a few seconds. And now it is done. Going back to here, you can see all of them are done. And the status is unknown for now. I'm going to click on this refresh button here. And you can see that two of them are inactive. The first one is active. And after some time, all of them should show active here. Now, under Fabric Inventory, so far we have been under Fabric Membership. But if I go up a little bit, I can find Topology tab here. I click on Topology, and Topology is going to show up here. Now, in this Topology, because this is a simulated environment, I need to click on this Topology tab here. Because this is a simulated environment, you do not really see the actual uh, icons of the switches. It just shows some circles instead of the actual circle actual uh, switch icon but again that's going to be okay for us you see that l2 has not appeared here after some time i need to refresh this and l2 is going to appear for us so this is the topology and let's see if i can click on this refresh button here up here and now that it is refreshed you can see both leaves and both the spines and this is the exact topology that we have uh, in our drawings so discovery is done but sometimes you see that discovery is not so successful so what you need to do is to go to fabric inventory and membership and you ideally see everything is going to be active here so sometimes you see unknown or inactive what you need to do is just to refresh them uh, if you need to you can just remove it and then wait for the discovery to be done again um, if you just remove it again, they need to, uh, uh, you, you need to see them under pending registration. 
or some of them of course might be unreachable you can just make sure that the connections are done the cabling is done and um, none of the leaves are connected to each other none of the spines are connected to each other and then everything is going to be all right so this is the process of discovery